So if you've been following me at all, I've been messing around with this Airstream DMX bridge. And it's a cool program. You can do a lot of neat stuff with it. I'm still learning. And I'm pressing multiple buttons to make things happen. I'm really hoping that I can set it up so I can press just one button and this cool stuff happens. Now I'm using a pair of Focus Spot 1s. And I'm also using four element par hexes. I've got some IPs, some IP pearls, and some regular hex pars. This is a learning curve, but I think once I get it, I'll have something pretty cool. Sometimes I feel like the programs that are built into these fixtures are more interesting than anything I can create myself, but geez, the control is so nice to have just right here on the iPad. Once I figure it all out, I think it'll be really neat. Until that time, I guess I struggle a little bit. A little sweep here, that's kind of neat. If you can see it with the pars down below, there's sweeping colors back and forth. That I can just do my cool rainbow button that I created. Just make the colors fade in out. There's all kinds of options. All kinds of neat stuff you can do with this. Here, let me show you something real quick. This is really, really neat. Let me turn this stuff off just while we're here. All right, I have to go here and I have to turn these effects off. Let me turn on these focus spot ones. Then I have to go into this little menu here and I have to bring up the strobe. And I also have to bring up the dimmer. Then if I go into this FX program, this is really neat. I like this. Now, you've probably seen the circle. People can do a circle and make it move around, right? You can make it go fast or slow. What you can also do is make it smaller and you can move it around a little bit. So this is going to be more of a front of house. No, that's not. Let's bring it over a little bit. There we go. Now we have more of a front of house look. If I wanted it behind the DJ or behind the table, simply do this. That's up in the air. Let's see, where is it? it must be down here. There we go. That's going to be more behind the DJ booth. Now something else I can do that's really cool. Check this out. If I go into this drawing program where I can just go mm, like this. Just make a weird shape. And then close it. And then press play. And it does whatever I drew. Now, if I want to make this smaller, again, I can. I can put it more where I want it. I want it to kind of face us. Bring it up a little bit. There we go, look at that. I make it go behind the DJ as well, just like I did before. Right there. I can make it go straight up in the air. Bring it down here and make it go up in the air as well. It's kind of neat. You can move this around and do some different stuff with it. It's fun. Of course, you can make it really big too. Make it go all over the place. So these are really cool, kind of powerful tools for an iPad. I just have to figure out how to use them all right. So anyway, how are you using your lights? How are you controlling them? Let us know in the comments section. I'm curious. Practice and enjoy.